Welcome to the Evening Review. My name is Sukhana Klaghe, and joining me in studio is former employee of Enamobia, Rainier Bogart. How are you, sir? Very much fine. Thank you very much. Um, you are p former em Enamobia employees are currently um, squatting at the premises of the airline. Um, what brought on this decision um, to squat in front of the premises of the, of the airline? Uh, in one word, desperation. Um, we are there at the uh, headquarters of our former airline uh, as former employees because we've been trying to get payment of for 20 months now for our severance packages from from the liquidator and we felt uh, we need to put pressure because I mean according to the Labor Act you were supposed to receive that on the termination date which was uh, about uh, 20 months ago was our last uh, working day in March but uh, up to now we haven't received those uh, packages we did, however, receive feedback last week, Friday, that uh, they have now enough money to pay out the severance packages. Uh, however, uh, we haven't received any further communication from the liquidators um, that we can follow up as to um, when they want to pay out and uh, on what claim they want to pay out. Um, so far, uh, because I remember when the announcement was made that um, Air Namibia would be liquidated, there was a commitment that government would pay 12-month um, salaries in tranches of three, I believe, and um, then the, pa the pensions would obviously also be paid, uh, pa paid out as well as the severance packages. Uh, severance, pa severance packages aside, um, has government kept its commitment of, 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 of honoring the ex-Russia payments um, to Air Namibia pay, uh, employees? Yes, I'd just like to make it... Uh clear, um, the ex gratia was paid, but the ex gratia was a, an amount equivalent to 12 month salary because you had to add a, a quantum to, to pay out. You have to arrive at some amount. Yes. So they used it as a, a equivalent to 12 months. However, we were fully taxed on that money, uh, which was not supposed to happen. Um, it was a gratuity payment, a payment in kind uh, out of gratitude, basically a gift mm. uh, from the government uh, because of what uh, we were going through at that time yes. because uh, remembering that this is the first parastatal that have been liquidated and also knowing that uh, re uh, government was the only shareholder in Enamabia. Mm. So we did receive the ex gratia payment, tax was deducted um, and currently uh, through NAMRA we applied to get some of the tax monies back which have already started being paid back to, to the employees. Okay. Okay, and then um, uh, to what extent um, has the liquidation of Enamibia um, um, affected um, former employees? I mean, how difficult is it now um, for, 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 for an individual like yourself um, to get something in the market, either here or, or outside Namibia? Yeah, very difficult. Um, number one is that uh, nobody wants to be associated, I think, with uh, a failure because uh, all of us uh, that were former employees of Enamabia, uh, we are looked at as if we caused the downfall of the airline, which is not true, because we never signed any of the lease agreements or anything like that. We were just the workers, you understand? Secondly, age. Age is also a problem. Um, I can speak for myself, I'm turning I'm 46, and uh, some of the uh, applications that I did and stuff like that, there are age limits. To, to that, like uh, uh, I'm, I'm trained in uh, aviation medicine, firefighting, dangerous goods, hijackings, as a safety officer basically. People tend to forget that a cabin attendant it, uh, is not a, what they call a, just giving coffee and tea. You're mm -hmm. a safety officer first. Um, as the CD on board of an aircraft of 245 people, we were supposed to evacuate that aircraft within 90 seconds and also assist within hijackings or bomb attacks and stuff like that. Mm. So uh, as a safety officer, uh, but I can't find a job because uh, to f apply at the fire brigade, the cutoff is 35 and you are 46. Then obviously you have to look at the situation in the country. There are younger guys or with, or that, got, that are graduates of degrees um, because they've been assisted through uh, NASFAF and all of that. We unfortunately did not have that opportunity. We can't go and study now through NASFAF. We mm. are too old at that moment. So, and then there's people that uh, were closer to retirement or in their 50s. If you have to look through a, a CV, 
and find a person of uh, 47 years in comparison with uh, somebody that's in their 20s, I mean, who do you take? Mm. And then also there's the medical aid issue because we've got families already. Uh, a young person might be on his own, so it will be cheaper for the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, also on top of that, uh, we that are experienced uh, uh, within labor, uh, you cannot just uh, manipulate us in any way because um, we will fight and stand on our rights. But it's easier for a person that comes into the job market that doesn't know anything um, to be manipulated or, or played around with. Um, you said that um, the, 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 the liquidators had, had, given, um, had given confirmation that there was enough money to, to, to pay out the severance packages. And, and, and uh, why do you think there's been a delay now to pay out these severance, pa severance packages? And how would you rate um, the quality of dialogue that you as former employees have being um, uh, people that um, are principal claimants against them and Namibia's assets? Yes, as a empl uh, former employee, we are called what you, uh, a preferred creditor. Mm -hmm. So any money that's available will first have to be paid out to us. And we've got a claim. That claim is an affidavit that we signed off uh, that was calculated according to the number of years that you worked at the company, uh, and as well as um, uh, the Labor Act provisions like uh, leave days, um, one year for every year worked, uh, the, your notice pay, your 13th check uh, pro rata, all of that. So imagine 20 months down the line, I haven't even received my, my leave days uh, or my notice pay, which is a requirement uh, by law, mm. 20 months uh, down the line. Yes, I understand uh, um, a lot of us lost jobs, uh, but the, the, the aviation sector especially was, or the tourism sector especially, was very hard hit uh, by that. It's 640 employees from one company that lost their jobs, you understand. and. Uh, we, we are not doing anything illegal. Mm -hmm. We are just asking, just pay us what we worked for for all our lives at the company. Mm -hmm. Myself, I'm, I've, I've got uh, 23 years uh, working experience with Enamobia, just with that one company, trying to work yourself up through the steps. You know, um, uh, I've been promoted three times when, uh, since my time with Enamobia, and um, I was on my way to the next level. So. But unfortunately, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. So all we are saying now, and that is what we are there now for, is just to claim what is rightfully ours, legally ours. We've got an affidavit that was signed by a commissioner of oath, uh, not under duress or anything. It was worked out for us. We filled in the form. You signed the form. You went through a commissioner of oath, either to a police officer or the, the, the person that they appointed as the commissioner of oath. And uh, we just want them to honor that affidavit that was signed mm. and nothing else. We don't want anything. I don't want one dollar more than I deserve. No, I just want what is rightfully mine and the document that's in my possession. Because uh, we've been trying to, to reach out to them with, with no, no feedback, you understand? Because uh, there is this allegedly that they want to, no, no, not allegedly. The, uh, we, we seen the minutes at the master of the high court that there is a, 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 a reduced amount on what is owed to you. Now, what necessitated that the reduced amount? We want to understand. Because how do you reduce the number of years that I worked? How do you reduce my notice pay? How do you reduce my uh, uh, leave days? Mm. And my one year of every year worked. Mm. So that's what we're asking. We don't want anything more. We just want them. We, this issue can be solved as I walk out of here. It can be resolved immediately if they just own up to the claim that we have in our possession under oath. Um, are there, more, there are more questions that I'd like to ask, um, but before, mm -hmm. before we continue with our inter interview on Enamabia, um, we'll quickly go for a short commercial break. Do stay tuned. <laughs>
Africa Good Morning is a current affairs program that brings you the latest from Southern Africa and beyond. The show aims to reach people in Southern Africa that have an interest in current affairs, African news, and African stories, focusing on news within African borders, including correspondents on the ground across the region, economics news, sport, international news, interviews, and more. Africa Good Morning is broadcasted on NTV, OneUp2.com, and cross-shared on the following Facebook platforms, The Republican, Algamina Titan, and Namibian Sun. Contact the Synergy Marketing Team at marketing at synergy.com.na or 061-297-2000. Welcome back to the Evening Review. If one were to consider the, the, the social economic impact that um, this, these layoffs um, of the 640 employees have had, uh, has there been incidences where uh, you know, suicides have, have, have occurred? Um, um, uh, has there been any um, so psychological support being offered to Namibia employees to deal with this? W w what has happened to deal with this, to, w w with these layoffs and, 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 and the consequences? I have to say we didn't get any support. We didn't get any th support uh, besides the financial side. Um, surely uh, people losing their jobs uh, en masse and collectively, I mean 640 families, because uh, these are the breadwinners that lost their jobs. Mm -hmm there's an effect obviously on those families. Um, there was no uh, psychological support. We, we uh, had some suicides. Um, we've got some depression because I mean you lost your livelihood. People are losing their houses. The bank is standing in front of your door. People are on the verge of losing their houses. Uh, and then you still need to fight for what's rightfully yours. That adds to the pressure and stuff like that. And nobody not the government, nobody is coming out to say, how can we assist? How can we relieve the pressure that's on you guys? Mm. Can, uh, is there any pressure that we can put on the liquidators to come to the negotiating table or, or, or to, to admit uh, onto the claims that needs to be paid? Because we were told there's enough money to pay out the claims, so now why wait any longer? If you had a problem from the beginning with the claims, mm. why was this not uh, uh, brought under our attention way back uh, 20 months ago. Mm. Why now when the suddenly the payments need to be done, now there's issues, you understand? Mm. And, 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 and what, what else uh, can we do than to use the people's power uh, to come together as a group and, and, and ask for and or demand for what is rightfully yours? Mm. Um, and then um, there's an issue in aviation um, that, um, for example, you're a cabin crew member, you're a pilot. Um, you need, you need, you need, you need, you need to have been on a plane for for X num number of hours. Um, you need to probably do various tests um, every 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 certain time. Yes. And being and being out of employment for 20 months now surely means that um, some of these um, certifications are, are invalid. How difficult is it for employees? without this money now, who want to get back into the industry to, to, to move on? Um, like I said, uh, the aviation uh, sector is very highly regulated by IATA and, and stuff like that. So, and, and, and to uh, keep your license, it's very expensive because you've got all these trainings that you need to do first before a license can be issued. Mm -hmm. You need to do what they call emergency uh, practical training, EPT training, which is a yearly training for you to get your license. You need to do firefighting, you need to do aviation medicine. Um, there's so many trainings that you need to do. Um, and uh, the airline paid for that uh, when you worked for the airline. Uh, unfortunately now, if you have to pay, imagine how much a, a pilot's license costs to maintain. Because mm. uh, you've got to go to a simulator, you've got to be tested every year to see that you are not a risk. You understand? So. Mm. Um, it, it costs a lot of money. To, be, to get a pilot's license nowadays, it costs, I think, last the time we checked, it was 400,000. Maybe now it's 700,000. Who's got that kind of money to, to assist you to get a pilot's license? Mm. So, yeah, so it, it's very expensive. And then, um, uh, 
the 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 the, 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 the Namibian Sun has come across um, documents um, which 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 speak to the planned um, sale of 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 Namibia's um, embryos um, below market price to 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 to, to another company. Now this would obviously um, uh, uh, bring down uh, the assets that uh, that need to be that need to be spread out that need to be paid out and spread out to all of the the, the, the 640 employees. With that in mind, how do you feel that the the, the, the liquidators alleged are alleged to be looking at selling um, 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 em embryos that need to fund the, the severance packages below market price? Well, uh, we don't know. All we, that has been communicated to us is that the assets have been sold, that there are enough money to pay out the severance packages to, to staff. That means that there's enough money to cover the costs of the 105 million it was last time I checked uh, for the severance packages. Now, if there's enough money to pay, why not just pay it? Because uh, we, we are not privy to any of uh, the assets being sold and for how much. We did ask for that information so that we can have uh, an understanding, but it, it has not been forthcoming. So uh, we can only allege and, and, and we only can make up our own mind, but until we see something on black and white or until we come to the negotiation, uh, there's actually nothing to negotiate because we've got the, the claim in front of us. Mm. Just own up to the claim. And who can put pressure on the liquidators to say, listen, just pay out the claim as uh, uh, put under oath by the employees. Who can put that pressure? And it's only the government that, that can do that. Mm. Um, have you made efforts to engage um, government um, through either the Ministry of Public, uh, Public Enterprises, which, um, mm -hmm. uh, which, which, which is being done away with the Ministry of Finance or, or Office of the Prime Minister to say, this is the situation. We've been told that there's enough money to pay the severance packages. Can you please put pressure on the liquidators to move um, with some speed? Um, like I said, 20 months, um, it's been 20 months now, and we haven't even been able once to get a meeting with the Minister of Finance, who is also the Minister of Public Enterprises mm -hmm. currently. Um, yeah, we're just getting closed doors every, everywhere we go. We are not respected anywhere we go like uh, this issue with um, the tax refunds. Mm -hmm. If you, just if you say you are from Enamapia, people will look at you like, what are you guys doing here? What, what can we do for you? You know, it's like people were jealous of the ex gratia payment that we got. And, and didn't you get enough? You know, you get that, those type of things and, and closed doors and, and really we had, we had to fight and push against everything that we had. Uh, up against us, so it, this is it, we we really going through a very very tough time with no support. We have only ourselves to rely on, but I guess that's the way it is. So, um, are there are there any other avenues that you might consider to ensure that um, the the, the extra, not the extra, excuse me, the severance packages are paid? Like a, like, um, um, is it possible for you perhaps um, to? To, 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 to get some um, legal, um, legal assistance into this matter? And if so, are you, are you as a former employee looking into, in, into some of these other options? Yeah, we, we, we're pursuing all options available to us. Um, but at this moment in time, we're trying to use the people's power uh, through demonstrations, through getting the information through what we, because people need to first understand what we're going through. They first need to understand whether we have a, a legal footing and then we take it from there. Um, but uh, that's why I'm also here, so that we can have, uh, and I have to thank you for creating that platform, mm. because uh, we are, nobody is listening to us. We are not getting a meeting. We are not getting a phone call. We expected that uh, once we sit down at NMOB's office, maybe a minister will come and say, yes, we understand there's a problem here. How can we assist? <laughs> Nobody came. It's been the today's the fourth day. We, I've been sleeping on the f on the cement for three days, um, without sleep. Uh, yeah, call it sleeping, but uh, yeah. Uh, and we will continue until whenever we get the the severance packages. But um, there are some people that came to support us, um, and we really do appreciate that. But the the people with the power that can make decisions that can affect. Um, uh, as to get closure on this matter, because nobody 
wants to go on like this forever. We want some closure mm. because currently I'm tied with Enemabia and Enemabia has already died. Mm. But I'm still tied. I can't get closure. I can't move on with my life in this end because there's uh, still this outstanding matter. And uh, it's not just me. It's all of the people now camping at Enemabia's office. There are people that cannot speak for themselves, you understand. And we as, uh, as leaders basically have to take up this fight and um, take it to the people and say, listen, listen to us. Why are you not listening to us? What have we done to you? Mm. We are Namibian citizens. We've got families that we need to take care of. And it's not something out of the extraordinary that we are asking for. It's just legally owed to us. So why, why, why don't you just want to pay us and let us go home to our families? Mm. I haven't seen my children in three days. It's not fair. Then they tell us this is the Namibian house. What did we do to be treated like this in our own house? It's not fair. Thank you very much for joining us on the Evening Review. Okay, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a pleasant evening. Good night. The Agenda is a weekly national affairs interview program hosted by Namibian Sun editor Toivon Jebela, featuring a panel of high-profile newsmakers, analysts, and experts. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact the Synergy marketing team at marketing at synergy.com.na or 061-297-2000. In Business 7, you get bang for your news buck on current economic, financial and business matters in Namibia. The weekly show features interviews with experts and in-depth analysis of burning issues in a way that caters for ordinary Namibians and business connoisseurs alike. For more information, contact the Synergy marketing team at marketing at synergy.com.na or 061-297. 2000. Sunset News is a daily news show focusing on national headlines as well as international news. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, please contact sunset at synergy.com.na. Sunset News. Don't end your day without us. NMH at 1 brings you news from all across Namibia. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact NMH1 at synergy.com.na. NMH at 1, your lunchtime news companion.